Hello everyone, Jack William Wedge II here. Some of you know me as Rising Tempest, and today I'm bringing you this short tutorial on how to create your own tool-assisted video. Uh, I get a lot of requests for this sort of thing on various instant messaging services, so hopefully this will put an end to some of that and enlighten you all at the same time. Uh, today I'm going to show by going through GoldenEye, since whenever people ask me about the videos, it's usually for the GoldenEye video I put out about half a year ago, so uh, let's have a look here. First, you will need Moopin64 with re-recording. You can get that from the tasvideos.org forum, and you will also need a copy of the ROM. To find those on your own, please. Now, uh, on your screen here, you'll see that I've got the settings open, and this is where you configure the various plugins for the emulator. What you'll want to use for video is the Glide64 Napalm public release. That is the best plugin available for GoldenEye currently. Uh, for your input, you're going to want to use uh, either NRAGE's direct input or the TAS input plugin. Uh, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to focus on NRAGE because TAS input kind of pisses me off. We'll just leave it at that. For sound, you'll want to use Jabbo's Direct Sound 1.6. It's packaged with most versions of Moop and Re-Recording. And uh, for your RSP plugin, just leave it as uh, the RSP emulation plugin that it comes with. And there you go. Next, you'll want to configure your input, so you'll want to go to Options, Input Settings. And on this screen, make sure you have raw data unchecked next to your controller. Next, uh, click Configure, and it'll show your current controller setup. Uh, as you can see, I don't have the buttons set up the way I want them, so I'm just going to change those right quick here. Uh, this is the keyboard setup that I normally use when I make these videos. You'll see uh, that the analog stick is set to the keyboard. You're not using an actual controller for this. You're not going to be playing in real time, so it's really not too important. What I'm moving right now is the analog stick range. That's how you'll control how much of the analog that you will press. Anyway, let's open up the ROM now and we'll get started. Also, while we're waiting for the ROM to load itself up here, uh, do note that other keys you'll be using a lot. Uh, in particular is the backslash key, which is your frame advance key. It lets you play the game in super, super slow motion. That's how you get uh, so accurate, so precise with all your movement. And uh, F1 through F9 are your nine save states. You just hit the F key to load a state and hold shift and press the appropriate F key to save the state. Uh, you've got nine states to work with, so you'll want to mix things up a lot, use a lot of different states. Anyway, looking at the video, uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to do a brief run-through on damn agent here. I'm not going to play the whole level, because that would take just fucking forever. We'll just do something right quick at the start, so you can see the basics, which is more or less moving and shooting. Alright, before we begin actually recording the video here, two crucial things. We're going to just open up Bond's watch here. Uh, you're going to want to change your control style uh, to 1.2 uh, if you're using the NRAGE plugin. If you're a little more patient, unlike me, and you use the TAS input plugin, you can set the axes on the joystick separately so you can get away with using some of the other control styles. Uh, 2.3 is a lot of fun. Uh, there's a glitch where you can fire your weapon during the cutscenes, and that can cause all sorts of crazy stuff. And on this screen right here, just make sure you turn auto-aim off. So just hit your frame advance key once, or the pause key on your keyboard to pause the game. This is just going to pause it while we load, or rather, start recording the video. Anyway, you'll want to click on Options, go down to Movie, and then click Start Recording Movie, and on this screen, uh, you'll type in a name for your movie, your author, and a description. I'll just type that stuff in there now. <laughs> And then uh, you'll see that there's two little check boxes there. From start, we'll essentially reset the game and record the movie from the start. What we're going to do today is we're going to click on from snapshot so we can just start right where we are in the level with the control set up and everything. So I'll click on that, and then now at the bottom of the screen there, you'll notice a little frame counter. This is going to count up as the movie goes along here. All right, I'm just going to pause again and make a save state. Uh, this will be the state for the start of our little section here. What we're going to do is we're going to strafe around the corner you see on your left, and then we're going to give the first guard a rather cruel death. So we're going to turn around the corner there. 
Uh, first, I'd like you to have a look at the bottom left-hand corner there. Uh, you'll notice that the buttons that I'm holding whenever I press the frame advance key there, uh, those appear in the corner. That's the little input display. I'll make a state there. And as you can see, uh, we've overshot the corner a bit, so we're going to go back to that state and we're going to try turning for a few more frames. Alright, that looks pretty good, but uh, we can get a lot closer than that, so we'll go back and we'll just hit for those few frames again, the same turn I just did, and then I'll make another state. We'll go into the input settings here, and you'll see I'm changing the analog stick range to something smaller here to make that last little bit of the turn and get as close as we can to the corner. Uh, this is basically how you're going to save a lot of time on this particular game, just by cutting corners as tight as you can. L look at that, right, nice and tight, very, very cool. That turn could probably have been a little tighter, but I'm satisfied with that for now. Uh, you can see how you would just load the state, lower the angle, or increase the angle until you get it as tight as you possibly can. So now we're going to line up a headshot on that guard up ahead there. I've made a state at the turn there, and you can see that using the angle we've got it set to, it's just not going to work. So I'll give myself a little more angle to work with here. I'm holding uh, up and left on the joystick as I move, by the way, to line it up and as you see there it, it's still not enough it's got the right height but it's not far enough to the left so I'll do those six frames like I just did and when I hold the trigger this time I'll hold over on the joystick and that's still not far enough over so I'm going to go back into the input settings here and I'm gonna give myself a little more range on the joystick and I'm gonna try that part of the aiming again and this time you can see that the angle that we gave was sufficient enough to line it up properly, you know. There we go, double backflip and all that. I'll just do that again right quick. Those of you perceptive enough will notice I just press the same buttons again down there on the input. Now I'm going to show you how you can resume your movie at a later time, so let's just stop recording and we'll go back into this uh, menu and we'll click on start movie playback uh, browse click on your movie file and you'll see that little open read only there for now let's just leave that empty and we'll click OK and then we'll load that state that I made right after we killed the guard and and there we go, right back to where we were. And now I'll just uh, move forward a bit so you can see that we are in fact resuming recording and it's still going. Now I'll show you how you can sit back and watch your movie. Let's just stop it. Then we'll click Start Movie Playback. Uh, leave Open Read Only Checked this time and then click OK. It loads your movie from the start and starts playing it back and I'll load uh, one of the states from the movie here now and you can see it keeps playing back and doesn't give you the option to change the input like it did last time. Alright, so for all intents and purposes the little tutorial here is done. We've run, we've shot the guard, I've covered the basics, and so I'll show you how to capture uh, your finished movie. Uh, so we'll just stop the playback here. Start it over again. Uh, open read-only mode again here. and we'll just pause the movie right at the start and we'll go to utilities movie start avi capture then here you'll just type in a file name for the video tutorial.avi and then click on save now it's gonna give you the compressor options you'll want to choose the H264 encoder you can configure it mine's already set so I'm not gonna bother then click OK so now the emulator is encoding our video and uh, it'll be to your uh, AVI file type. You can watch it back in whatever movie watching program you've got. You can upload it to YouTube as I've done far too many fucking times. And I'm just going to speed this up because it takes about two minutes to capture ten seconds of video on my computer anyway. So now I'm just gonna play back the fruits of our labor here and you'll be able to see uh, it played in real time even though we did the whole thing uh, with using the slowdown with the frame advance. Oh. 
And that concludes my short tutorial. Now, before you attempt one of these on your own, remember that it will take forever to do one of these. So, unless you got ass loads of free time or are really, really patient, don't even bother.